What hidden pressures built beneath Mayan's summit until, on the evening of January 7, 2026, the mountain's lava dome suddenly gave way? How does a seemingly stable plug of rock and molten lava turn in an instant into incandescent avalanches that gouge gullies and send pyroclastic currents racing down the flank? And what does this collapse tell us about the cycles of growth and failure that govern violent stratovolcanoes? These are the questions that frame the geological story of Mayan's latest dome collapse, a story of viscous magma, trapped gases, structural fatigue and gravity collaborating to produce one of the most dangerous and dramatic styles of volcanic eruption. On that night, field observations and official monitoring indicated that superheated volcanic gas and fresh magma breached the crater rim, precipitating the collapse of the summit lava dome and the sudden effusion of glowing lava into adjacent drainages. The National Volcanology Agency issued an alert raised the hazard status and enforced the established six-kilometre exclusion around the summit to protect communities. The sequence sustained dome instability, increasing rockfall activity, a critical failure event, and the generation of pyroclastic density currents fits the classic pattern of dome collapse eruptions observed at many of the world's composite volcanoes. What follows is an investigation strictly into the geological processes and mechanisms behind this collapse, not what people said, but what the rocks, gases and instruments reveal about the forces at work. Lava domes are fundamentally different from the effusive fountains of basaltic shield volcanoes. They form when viscous magma, typically andesitic, to dacitic in composition with relatively high silica content, ascends slowly and extrudes at the vent, but resists flowing freely. Instead of spreading out, the magma piles up over the vent in bulbous lobes and spines, building domes with steep flanks and brittle outer crusts. The viscosity that causes the dome to form also isolates the magma's internal gas. Gases exsolve as magma decompresses and attempt to escape. If they can pass through permeable pathways, the eruption may proceed relatively gently with continuous degassing and steady dome extrusion. But if pathways are restricted by a solidified crust or by rapid growth of a plug, gas accumulates, pressure rises, and the volcano becomes primed for a sudden failure. In the months and weeks preceding the collapse, seismic and visual indicators showed that Mayan's summit region was active and unstable. There was a marked increase in rockfall signals originating from the dome and the crater rim. Repeated rock avalanches stripped parts of the dome's outer layers. Photographic surveillance and thermal imagery picked up persistent incandescence at night evidence that hot magma was located close to or at the surface. Geodetic measurements recorded subtle inflation of the summit and adjacent flanks, implying that new magma was intruding beneath the dome. The combined picture was consistent, magma supply was continuing, dome growth was ongoing, and the structural integrity of the dome was being undermined by both internal pressure and the mechanical wear of repeated collapses. Dome collapse can be driven by two broad, often overlapping mechanisms. The first is internal overpressure. Gas-rich magma accumulates beneath the dome or within its interior, and the increasing pressure fractures the brittle roof from within. When a critical stress threshold is reached, fractures propagate, and portions of the dome are blown out or pushed aside, instantaneously releasing massive quantities of gas and entrained hot rock. The second mechanism is gravitational failure. As the dome builds and its slopes become steeper and taller, the weight of its own mass may exceed the strength of the rock and welded material that make up the dome's shell. 
Weathering, hydrothermal alteration and previous fracturing can weaken the structure further and a small disturbance, a rockfall, a seismic shock or the sudden withdrawal of support beneath a lobe can trigger a catastrophic avalanche. At Mayon, the observed sequence suggests that both mechanisms played roles, but the critical trigger on January 7th appears to have been a pulse of superheated gas rising through the dome and reaching the crater rim. When hot volatiles find a pathway to the surface, they can either vent gradually or explode violently. In this case, the gas surge likely shattered the dome's upper parts, exposing molten material and allowing incandescent lava to flow outward. The sudden loss of support for the overlying dome segments then converted potential energy into kinetic energy. Blocks and fragments of the dome detached and accelerated downslope, entraining hot gases and abrasively comminuting into finer ash and pumice as they tumbled. The result is a pyroclastic density current, a hot, ground-hugging mixture of gas and volcanic particles that behaves like a fast, turbulent avalanche. Understanding the physics of these currents is central to grasping the hazard. Pyroclastic density currents are sustained by their own momentum and the high density of the particle-laden gas. The basal portion is dense and concentrated, capable of bulldozing and scouring terrain, while an overlying turbulent cloud lofts and transports fine ash. Because their driving force is gravity and the buoyancy contrast with the ambient atmosphere, these currents follow topographic lows, river gorges, channels and valleys, and can run for many kilometres. Their run-out, controlled by initial volume, slope steepness, and the ability of the current to trap air and retain heat. Temperatures within a current can remain at several hundreds of degrees Celsius close to the source, sufficient to incinerate forest and infrastructure. Speeds can exceed tens of meters per second, meaning that any living thing caught on the flow path has minimal chance of survival. Mayan's geography, a steep, symmetrical cone with deeply incised radial gullies, is particularly conducive to directing dome collapse flows into confined channels. On January 7th, the bright lava and broken dome material flowed into specific drainages, notably the Bonga Gorge, and adjacent channels, producing short-run but intense pyroclastic surges. The flows were hot and dense enough to generate substantial ash clouds that filled nearby valleys before being dispersed by prevailing winds. Because local authorities had already established and enforced a six-kilometre exclusion zone around the summit, large numbers of people were not in the direct path of the worst flows. Nonetheless, the morphological scars left on the flanks and fresh deposits in the gullies are reminders of the destructive power even relatively short pyroclastic events wield. The mechanics that convert dome collapse into pyroclastic density currents involve rapid fragmentation and dynamic particle gas interactions. When large blocks of a dome detach, they collide and abrade, producing a range of particle sizes from coarse blocks to fine ash. The newly liberated hot gas, exolved from the underlying magma, provides a low-density cushion and drives turbulent mixing. As the avalanche entrains more air and material, turbulence increases, frictional heating and the exothermic oxidation of certain components can add heat. In many dome collapse events, the initial mass of material is sufficient to maintain the current as it moves downslope. If the topography is steep and uninterrupted, the current can accelerate and travel a considerable distance. If, by contrast, the topography flattens, the current may decelerate and deposit much of its load locally. The geological questions remain immediate, 
Will the system calm into steady degassing and slow extrusions, or will further pulses of magma and gas prompt renewed dome building and collapse? Can the patterns of precursory rockfalls, deformation and gas emission be quantified to improve near-term forecasting? And at a deeper level, how do the detailed rheological properties of Mayan's magma, its crystal content, temperature and volatile inventory, control the timing and intensity of collapse? Answers will come only through meticulous observation, careful sampling and the patient accumulation of data. For now, the mountain-scarred summit and the fresh deposits in its gullies tell a clear tale, beneath the elegant cone. Volatile forces rise and, when released, can reshape the volcano in a matter of hours. If this deep dive into Mayan volcanoes' powerful geological forces helped you understand what's really happening beneath the surface, don't keep it to yourself. Hit the like button to show your support, share this video so others can stay informed, and subscribe for more in-depth, science-driven coverage of Earth's most extreme events. And don't forget to tap that hype icon. It helps push this video to a wider audience and ensures more people see the real science behind these unfolding natural phenomena.